Hey guys, in today's class, we're talking about everything hairspray. I'm going to show you how to use it like a professional and take away all your frustrations. You'll learn how to get maximum hold out of it while still keeping that super touchable feel to your hair. We're also going to go over the best brands. So I've done an embarrassing amount of testing over the years, and there's one thing I've learned above all others. It's not so much which hairspray you use, it's how you use it. In other words, two people can get totally different results with the exact same can of hairspray. I actually want to show you some footage from one of our tests on my salon's co-founder, Leslie. This is about four years old now, but on one side of her hair, we did hairspray on every level of curls. And on the other side, we only did a little bit of hairspray at the end. You can see a pretty noticeable difference between the two sides. So which side do you think had more hairspray? If you guess the right side, you're actually wrong. That's the side with less hairspray. But as you can see, it held up much better and much more consistently. So needless to say, the amount of hairspray you use is super, super important. So let me go over my method for getting the perfect amount of hairspray. The first thing is you want to hold the can about a foot away from your head when you're spraying it. Any closer than that, and it'll be clumpy. It'll be too much in some places, not enough in others, and it's just a mess. Secondly, you only want to apply six seconds worth of hairspray to each area of your head. So six seconds on the left, six seconds on the right, six seconds on the back, no more. The reason for that is you only want to apply one coat of hairspray to your hair. That's because hairspray adds a ton of hold when it actually is on your hair. But when hairspray goes on top of another layer of hairspray, it adds no support, it only adds weight which pulls your hair down and ruins your style. You also want to make sure that when you apply it, you're going back and forth, moving the whole time. You never want to stop or else you'll get too much in one place. You also only want to apply the hairspray to the outside layer of your hair. That's because number one, it's all anybody's going to see. And number two, if you do it on all the layers, it's just a lot of product and your hair is going to get dirty really quickly. Lastly, you want to apply the hairspray when it's in the position you're actually going to wear. So if you're wearing your hair over your back, Spray it when it's over your back. Don't put it over your shoulders, spray it, and then throw it over your back or it'll look weird. You also wanna make sure not to move your hair too much for the first 15 to 30 seconds after you apply the hairspray. That's because it's still wet. It won't lock in until it's dry. So you wanna give it a chance to do that. If you're flipping your hair around while it's still wet, you can lock in some craziness. So that's exactly how to use hairspray, but there's also some other things you wanna consider. The 80s strategy of just using a ton of hairspray doesn't work anymore. We're not using Aquanet anymore. Hairspray has changed. The idea that more is better doesn't work anymore. You also never wanna use hairspray right before you're gonna curl your hair. A lot of people do this thinking it's gonna lock in the curl, but the thing is, hairspray has alcohol in it. The alcohol dries the hair. The last thing you wanna do is dry your hair before you put a 400 degree iron on it. So hairspray always comes after you do your curls, not before. So let's get into my recommendations. In my world, there's only two types of hairspray. There's strong and then there's medium. You may have noticed it's actually really hard to find a weak hairspray. That's because they actually call themselves medium on the label, which is really code for I'm a weak hairspray. My favorite strong hairspray for maximum hold is Control Addict 28 from Red Kent. It's super strong, but at the same time, you can run your fingers through without feeling it. There's no crunch at all, as long as you use it the way I described. My favorite medium hairspray is from Kenra, and it's actually called Perfect Medium. It's pretty strong, but it's super, super light, and it smells great. Whenever I use this, everybody turns around and says, oh my gosh, what is that smell? I love it. Hairspray is one of those categories where there's actually a lot of great ones. You don't need to be that picky. What's more important than getting the right brand is making sure you use it correctly. So congratulations, you made it through Hairspray 101. Your homework is to use this strategy the next time you use Hairspray. If you need to get Hairspray, you can get all my favorites in my salon's online store. The link is in the description. And if you have any questions, leave a comment and I'll make sure to get back to you. That's the bell, class is dismissed. Have a good one, guys.